Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. So today we're playing another part of the Wolf Among Us. Um, this is part 3 of episode 2, and I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way because I know I'm going to have to edit this video like crazy because there's just a lot going on that I'm going to have to edit. So, <laughs> let's get to it. <sighs> In the last video, we told Holly that her sister was the one that passed away, so now we're on our way to the fucking strip club. The put it in pie in the Bronx. Oh my god, this is not gonna be fun, I can already tell. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in love. This time? Here. Come on. What the fuck does that mean? I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. I can take it from here. Hey! Oh, it's you. We're closed. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Leave her alone, asshole. Oh Whatever you say. Uh, all I see are fucking titties and I'm not here for it! What do you want then? You here for a little tip? No, I don't want- I don't know. I don't want this. I just want to talk to you! Can, can we stop you looking? Oh my god. Or, uh, no can they you. not? Can we just She's like? Could they not like? You did a different shot? Do we have to see? Do we have to see Tell that? Me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. I'm not <gasps> here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, bro, I just want to talk. So I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. <laughs> the 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. Oh, my if Lily hurts. was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. 
Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, now what to do with me? You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! Fucking shit! Okay, I don't wanna see her naked, but you don't you have to be so mean to her. Mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. How was this? Fuck up, Hans. Hans? Who's that from? What story is that from? Hey. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good Bro, idea that, where to start. Bro, that man's so much bigger than you, he could hey, beat the fuck out of you. that's my personal property! <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. You could easily just go ahead and pick it up. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. I don't want to break anything. I feel bad. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, sure you would don't. You come on. Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. I'm not gonna hurt him. Bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Then quit being a bloody on, idiot. <laughs> Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I should have done the boombox. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, okay. I think we got it. Oh, we got the key, not the book, though. The book's probably in there. Bloody come on, then. Bloody come on, then. <laughs> I love it. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. 
This is your book. Uh, your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. You do that, because I didn't break anything, you stupid bitch. I'm gonna go talk to this Hello. girl. Business office. Oh, what's this? Cosmetics. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Okay, what's this? It's a note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. So she doesn't have anything in her cubby, though. Whose is this? Faith. So it looks like our thing was broken in. It's been busted open. Looks like somebody went through her stuff. But there isn't even a lock. And Lily hasn't doesn't have anything in her pat little cubby. Um I think that's all we can look at. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. Who is this? You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. <gasps> it's Ariel! Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. No, not Ariel. <laughs> my name I love is Ariel. Marissa. It's my favorite movie. Well, Marissa, I've got some questions. Why do they of not call Ariel? Do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Um, who's Mr. Smith? I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't My talk lips about are work. sealed. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. They all say that. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Wait, if she can't say it, why can't she just show us? Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Huh. That's, That's not what I'm not here for. I'm here. We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Usual place? Okay. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. What's going on? What did she do? That's not the room. Not 207? 
You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Ariel, don't go. <laughs> I love her so much. What the hell? So they literally hook up in the hotel like two doors down. Ote dote. Alright. We're gonna continue this for like a little bit longer and then we're gonna stop. Gotta make sure he smokes his cigarette. All right, let's see. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. This is like a really crappy hotel. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, oh. Uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Um, trying to f oh, investigate. you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe... on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Okay. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me. Even though she knew that I saw her, I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, this I'm ever sorry, girl. Again, I was just asking come questions. Come see me or Snow first, all right? I so tried. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. All right. Okay. 
Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? 207! Okay, I want to listen. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't! I'll help you. Just don't break anything. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? I didn't do no, anything. Sweetie, no, wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think, please. You're cheating on me with him? No, oh my no, God. Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck? Have you not been hearing about what the murders? What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, well, no listen shit. to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. <laughs> Hey, oh bastard. my god. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You told me you had seen her, you fucking I don't wanna liar. hurt you. I don't wanna hurt you, so just calm down and Beast! Oh my god. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! <laughs> She's my wife, Bigby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I told you. Uh, we'll go this way. Stop! Ah. Leave him be. I can't click the buttons fast fault. enough. God. Big me no, don't hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. Oh, but he's going to hurt me. Okay. Cool. All right. The hell is his problem? I mean, I get what it looks like, but like I'm you on a case. Everything. She's my fucking wife. <laughs> Okay, well, you can't blame me for doing that. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Oh my god. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? Bitch, I told you to stay in the <gasps> hall. Oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this- is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember <laughs> who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed you work like here. a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. 
I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Okay, so now we get to look around. I Let's see the cassette player. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay, let's look at the bed. Like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. You can leave if you can't handle this. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, apparently a lot. Alright, what's this? God. An ashtray. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Maybe it's Drug Big wine. B. Classy. For my arrival. Okay, let's check the closet. What the hell? It's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood no, there's on no it. No blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Alright, let's put this thing in the cassette. She must have been so scared. Oh my god. Does it work? I don't hear anything. Maybe I have it turned off. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Okay. Maybe she didn't see it coming. I feel like I have everything. Can I not? Do I have to talk to her? Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no. It just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Okay. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? 
I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. All right, can I go now? Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. I have literally have nothing else to look at. Oh, what is this? An apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. <laughs> no, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That's so that weird. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Another clue. Got ready to wrap up this episode though. This one's getting kind of long. And it's the one I have to edit the most. Those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. What the hell? Oh, he's got issues. Oh my god, that was the end of it. Wow. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Bigby. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Oh. Bigby looking a little scary. All right. How did you respond to Crane's uh how did he can i read um how did you respond to crane about snow's death you and 13.5 percent of players ignored him how did you treat the murder suspect you and 62.4 percent of players persuaded him to talk did you let snow come with you to the trip trap you and 91.9 percent of players let her make her own decision how did you handle georgie Whatever's last, Georgie Porgy. <laughs> you and 69.9% .9 of players didn't hit Georgie. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players opened or opted, sorry, not to hit Beast a second time. All right. Well, that was the episode two. It is actually done. Oh, wow. I can't believe that's actually, that was kind of quick. I 
literally have it. Okay, well, I guess it's been an hour, but uh, that was pretty quick. I only got it done in three parts. Normally it's around four, um, but I guess this one was a little bit longer than most of them. So um, yeah, that's exciting. I'm gonna keep doing this. So like one week we'll do one episode and then the next week we'll do another episode of another one. Like, uh, like say one week, it'll be episode three of Life is Strange. And then the next week is episode three of Wolf Among Us. Like kind of like that maybe, or like if I run out of like, ep I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I get just kind of how what I want to record at the time. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the series, I'll hit that like button so I know to keep it going. Um, click that subscribe button because we're on our way to 700 subs. And turn on that bell notification so you know when I post. And leave a comment in the comment section down below. How do you feel about this part? Like, kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Um, yeah, so bye guys.